friends and welcome back to Old Mill Homestead. Today we are going to be making a berry torte. It's a crescent roll dessert. You can use any kind of filling you want. I prefer berry, but you could use apple, pumpkin, um, cherry, blueberry, literally any kind of pie filling that you want. Um, it's super quick and super easy to make and it's always a crowd pleaser. I'm going to sling you down and we're going to show you that. We're also going to be making a reindeer Chex Mix thing for Christmas, which is super delicious. We're going to be making a small amount just because it's only going to be five or six of us for dinner for Christmas at my family's. And so I don't need a huge amount, but it's super easy as well. It's the easiest thing to throw together and it always flies whenever we go to family functions. You can also mix it up and use it really for any time of the year. For Thanksgiving, I added um, red and green M&Ms instead of I'm sorry, orange and green and yellow M&Ms instead of red and green. You could do just a whole plethora of ideas. So let me swing you around and we'll show you what we're doing. This recipe will be linked down below. All that you need is one can of crescent rolls. You need a 22 ounce can of your pie filling of your choice. You're gonna need sugar. You're gonna need a block of cream cheese and a fourth a stick of butter and then a dish to put it in so let's get all this mixed up and I'll show you what it's gonna look like okay so in our mixer we are gonna put a half a cup of sugar so I've got my sugar here straight into the mixer and then we're gonna put our block of cream cheese and we're gonna cream those two together. This recipe is so easy. I mean, it's so simple. Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher, but I had dishes going from cooking the big stuff today. And this is really the best space to try to get this mixed up in. I'm gonna put our mixer down and get that to mixing. In our dish, I have an eight by eight. We're gonna open our crescent rolls. I've already um, put some spray in here. We're gonna open our crescent rolls. We are going to put one layer on the bottom of our baking dish and just kind of spread it out and make it even in there. Okay, so we have our mixture all mixed together. We have our first layer of crescent roll in the bottom. So we are gonna open our pie filling like I said, you can use any filling that you want to use. That's my butter. I had to melt a little bit of butter. We're just going to pour this in. I actually did this backwards. You're supposed to put the cream cheese filling in first and then the pot filling. I don't think that it's really gonna matter. But I guess we'll see. Okay. 
get our cream cheese mixture. And we're just gonna scrape this out. It's really good. it on top then we're going to take our butter and we're just going to pour this right over top of our mixture this mix is going to go in the oven um, you can also sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top. Uh, I'm not gonna put much, but I will do a little bit. You're gonna put this in the oven at 350 and you're gonna bake it 35 to 45 minutes and I'm telling you, it is amazing. Our oven is preheated to 350 and we're gonna bake this 35 to 45 minutes. Hey Siri, set an alarm for 35 minutes. Your alarm is set for 2.26 p.m. So I'm gonna check it at 35 minutes and if it needs a little bit longer, then I will leave it back in for 10 minutes. So let's get started on the reindeer mix. Okay, so this is a little bit of a mess. We're gonna add some check cereal. And this is the last time that I'm making this this year. So I'm just gonna add the rest of the package. It calls for five cups, but like I said, I'm not going to be making this again, so that's all I'm going to add. I'm going to add some pretzels, probably plenty. It calls for two cups of powdered sugar. Probably good right there. That is my almond bark. Okay, we've got our almond bark all melted. It calls for eight ounces of almond bark. I'll put a little bit more in it. That's pretty hot. So let me put my little glove on. And then we're just gonna pour this into the mixture. And then we're just gonna give this a stir. It calls for a large bowl, but I don't have a large bowl. So I'm gonna stir it around in here. And then we're gonna put this on a parchment lined baking sheet. So I've got my parchment paper. And we're just gonna line that out. And then we're gonna dump it on the sheet. And then we're just gonna kind of push it into a single layer. That's good. We're gonna give that probably 10, 15, 20 minutes to set up and then we're gonna break it apart and put it in a serving bowl and you're all done. Both of these recipes will be linked below and I will be back in a little bit to show you what the tort looks like. Okay, we're back. The tort looks like it's ready, so we're gonna take it out. That's my alarm. 
going off. Oh, that looks delicious. Can you see that? That looks amazing. Let's get the oven turned off so we don't leave that on. And then I'm gonna show you everything that we made today. Okay, here is our reindeer mix. I did add some M&Ms and we'll just kind of break that apart and put it in a serving dish for tomorrow. That looks amazing. Here is what we made earlier for a different video, our cornbread dressing and sweet potato casserole. And here is our berry tort. Got a little brown right there, but I still think it'll be okay. Probably could have taken it out a couple minutes early, but I was exhausted and I got hot so I ran and jumped in the shower just to kind of wash off and it didn't I beat the alarm but it's still probably I could have pulled it a smidge early but I still think it's gonna be delicious I hope you guys enjoyed this video um I'll have a playlist I don't have that many videos out right now but I will have a playlist of the cornbread dressing and sweet potato casserole for you thank you for hanging out with me in my kitchen and we'll see you later friends bye